We've talked a little bit about canteens. I want to talk today about uh, dippers, prehistoric Southwest ladles or dippers, they're called. Uh, beautiful examples here, a wonderful collection. These were in the museum for many, many years. And talk about the features on individual dippers. We have some beautiful examples here today to talk about. And these different features, you can tell how they were used. And I want to move the camera around so we get a little better angle. And I'll talk about them one at a time. Okay, we primarily have uh, Tularosa and Pinedale. There's one little porco here. That's about AD 900 through about maybe 1100. Not a lot going on with that little guy. Little little soup dipper. There's a little tiny one. This is actually yeah. his pigment. That's from Heshatutlana time period. That's quite late, 1400s, 1500s even. We've seen this little Cedar Creek one time before. This is a, uh, a Cedar Creek with the, with the white pigment on there. This one has a centipede on the handle, which is very cool. Centipede is the ladder, the one-pole ladder that represents the one-pole ladder that goes down to the underworld, up from the underworld. Tularosa, black on white. This one has a deliberate kill that was punched out of there on purpose at some point in time after a lot of use, a lot of wear on the edge. So this was used a long time. You see how the pigments are all worn off from use. This was uh, in a household in use a very, very long time. This is a beautiful Tularosa, just gorgeous. Late Tularosa, probably pushing Pinedale. This is like 1300 AD. But you notice the rim on this one is very worn, and there is a break here, but I think this happened in use. This uh, rim got broken from people using it over and over. It's used a long, long time. And you notice it was used by right-handed people. Because people dip this way. Nobody dips nobody, like this. Nobody does it. Everybody dips this way. Now, a left-handed person would have worn out the other side. See, this was a right-handed person. You can tell that from the wear on the, on the dipper. That is a gorgeous dipper. I have never, uh, that I can remember, I have never seen any exterior paint on a dipper. I'm sure they exist, but I've never found one. This great big pine dale was discovered several decades ago. Pinedale water ripple pattern. You see that quite a lot on Pinedale. Very big dipper. This is the biggest dipper I've ever seen actually. Great big guy. And the handle was missing and many many years of excavating they finally found the far end of it. Well they restored it for the museum but then we found the, the real handle. It doesn't match. There's a piece missing. But you notice the hole is different. It's sideways on that, but that is definitely the piece that goes with that. And it needs now it needs to be you need to cut that off and put add this piece on. Yeah, there's a few other there's a lot of pine dale here, I'm noticing. I really love this little one. This one has the little zoomorphic head as a handle, which is interesting. Little tiny dipper. Another Pine Dale water ripple pattern. Another Tularosa, 1200 to 1300 AD. A lot of times these, these handles will have a rattle. It'll rattle. And when you use the dipper, it makes noise. I've got some handles. We'll look at handles here in a minute. I've got a lot of handles. And we'll, I think I've got a couple I can show you the, uh, the rattle in the handle. There's another, this is probably, it could be Tularosa, it could be Reserve, a little earlier. A little black on white. Another Tularosa. That's pretty classic. I find quite a few of these. This one's interesting. This has this has been cut prehistorically, and probably broke, and they just cleaned it up a little bit. Interesting pattern in the center, a star pattern. The little curlies you see on there, I see those uh, as butterfly antenna. And I've been, I've studied this little guy trying to see something in the negative or something I might not be seeing, and I don't see it. It just looks like a nice flower pattern, star pattern. But we often see that associated with insects. Okay. Let me get some handles out here and we'll take a look at those.
I want to show you some of these dipper handles. There's just such an array of them. We're primarily seeing uh, Tularosa with the uh, interlock terrace units. Uh, there are some interesting forms here. Here's a serpent on the hand. Snake on the back applique. I've got another one here. Another little serpent right here. It's an applique on the back. Uh, we have... Uh, this is fun. This is a dipper handle that broke, and then they cut it, and they used it like a little cup. It have been to, to hold a little ember uh, to carry a little fire around. I've seen that before. They often use the, uh, the handles if they broke in another way. They do that with vessels of all kinds. A lot of times they make a pookie out of a bowl if it got broken. Sometimes these... Uh, have a rattle in the handle. There it is. There's the rattle in the handle. That could be an accident of firing. I see it quite a bit, so it could be on purpose. It could be so that when you're dipping stew, mm -hmm. mom can hear you. <laughs> That's a deliberate rim kill on that. Dippers and dipper handles, dippers and ladles, prehistoric southwest. Mm -hmm.